everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods on your modded Minecraft server. I'm assuming that you do already have a Forge server set up in this video and for this video. If you don't, you can check out the eye at the top of your screen where I show you exactly how to set up a Forge server. You do need a Forge server in order to play mods on Minecraft 1.14.2. So go set that up and then come back to this video. It's linked at the end of that video and in the description of that video and all that stuff. And then I'll show you how to install mods here. First and foremost though, if you do want a very easy way to set up a 1.14.2, 14.2 server. You can do that with Apex Minecraft hosting with just one click. You can check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown at XYZ slash Apex, and there you'll be able to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS pick in Minecraft server for you and your friends. Again, set up with just one click, running Forge 1.14.2. It's a very, very easy thing to set up. It's a very, very easy, simple way to run a Minecraft server. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for an incredible 24-hour DDoS pick in Minecraft server for you and your friends, check Apex Minecraft hosting out at the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right on into this so again you need to have forge set up here is our tutorial on setting up forge you can check that out in the description down below as well as our video at the eye at the top of your screen on how to set up a forge server for 1.14.2. now after that you do need to download some mods now i do have a link in the description down below to curse forge which you can find here and it will be automatically set to the 1.14.2 version so I accidentally clicked an ad there but it will automatically be set to the 1.14.2 version, if I can set it up here. Misclicking like crazy, but nevertheless, it'll automatically be set up to this right here. Now, not all of these mods are gonna be compatible automatically. You'll need to make sure that they are compatible for Forge and not Fabric. Fabric is, think of it as a competitor to Forge, and Fabric isn't as big as Forge and kind of has bridged the gap between Forge being updated for 1.14. So make sure it is a Forge mod, not a Fabric mod. Fabric mods will not work. An example of an updated mod that will work is Fence Jumper down here. This is for Forge, and we can go ahead and click on earlier versions right here, and we'll be able to see that, in fact, this is for Forge. See, it very clearly says there that this is for Forge 1.14.2. So we can then go ahead and click on the orange download button here, and it will take us off where we have to wait a few seconds, and then it will download this in the bottom left. Now, you will need to keep this file. It's safe to do that as long as it ends in .jar, which ours does. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's popped in the center of the screen where you'll need to save it. Now, you can install multiple mods on your Minecraft server, so to do that, you'll also need to, we're gonna install Waddles, right? You don't have to install Waddles, but we're going to, because who doesn't like penguins in Minecraft? So to do that, go ahead and click on earlier versions here. And then again, we can see that this one doesn't say Forge or anything like that. It just says Waddles. Why, why did I say Waddles earlier? Anyway, it says Waddles, which is uh, just because it's Forge. This is a Forge mod and they don't identify it otherwise, unless it's for Fabric, which as you can see, this one says Fabric, this one's for Forge. So we can go ahead and click download. A bit confusing, I know, it's a bit confusing. That's why I wanted to make sure I mentioned it and make sure that you're getting the correct version for Forge and not Fabric. I do want to keep Waddles here, and we can go ahead and minimize our browser. On our desktop, I do have two mods here, Finch Jumper and Waddles. We also have the Forge modded server that we set up in that tutorial. Now, if these are on your desktop, no worries. Click the little Windows icon in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Type in Downloads. You'll have a Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and then in here, you'll find Finch Jumper and Waddles, or whatever mods you want to install, dragging your desktop for ease of use. And that's the thing. You can install any mods here, not just these two. But it is worth noting that you will need to install these mods locally as well. So let's do that first. To do that, click the little Windows icon to the top left for me with the bottom left of your screen and then type in run, R-U-N. You'll have the run desktop app there. Open that up and in here type percent APP DATA percent percent sign app data percent sign and hit enter. Then you'll have a dot Minecraft folder and in here you should have a mods folder. If you don't, go ahead and create one by right clicking, creating a new folder, and titling that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Now at this point, I do want to mention that your friends that are going to be playing on your server will also need to install the mods locally. So the best way to do that is to actually check out the eye at the top of your screen. It's an in-depth guide on how to install Forge mods locally. So they don't have to worry about the server part of this tutorial, just the local part. But nevertheless, go ahead and open up the mods folder there, and then just go ahead and select these on your desktop, right click, copy, and then come over here to the mods folder, right click, and paste. Now, we've installed them locally, but we need to install them on the server. To do this, it's the same process. Open your Forge server, and you'll have a mods folder. If you don't, you don't have a Forge server. You need to go start a Forge server using the link in the description or at the eye at the top of your screen. So nevertheless, once you've got your mods folder in your server, go ahead and open that, and then just drag and drop Finch Jumper and Waddles or whatever mods you want into this folder. Now go ahead and double click the run.bat file, file. That will go ahead and open up your CMD over here, and it'll work. We also wanna open up Minecraft, confirm that we are selecting the Forge profile, and then click play. 
and it will go ahead and open up Minecraft with uh, with Forge installed, with Waddles and Finch Jumper, and our server is starting over here with those two mods as well, and then we'll be good to go. So I'll go ahead and do a quick jump cut to the Minecraft main menu and to our server being set up, and then we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. And you've installed mods on your Minecraft server. So there we go, the server is started. As you can see, all chunks are saved and we're on the Minecraft main menu here. We can click mods and check Finch Jumper and Waddles are installed. Now let's go ahead and connect to our server. We're gonna do this just using our local IP here, join server, and it will join us on in. I'm already opt on this server. As you can see, Nick King joining in there, but I'm already opt on this server so I don't have to worry about uh, being able to go into creative and that's what we're going to do. We're gonna go into game mode creative really quickly and I'm gonna place down some fence gates or not fence gates, some fences, so we can prove that we can jump over these. Boom, boom, boom. Should be able to, yep, as you can see, well, that was that was fly. But we can just jump right over the fence gates there, no problem. I keep saying fence gates, but I mean fences. So if we do that, boom, I'll be able to jump up, jump to the center, and then jump right out, so fence jumper is installed. Now, the best way to show that penguins are installed is, well, we have a snow biome over here, and they should, in theory, just spawn in this biome. However, I have had some issues with penguins spawning a bit. As you can see, we're getting a bit chunk drop back there because we're flying too fast but we do have some polar bears and things like that but we should be able to uh to find some penguins so give me just one quick second we'll do a quick little jump cut so i couldn't find any naturally spawning but luckily we were able to just get the spawn egg here and i don't think there's any denying that these are in fact penguins you can even look at these baby penguins that's just that's just incredible but now there are penguins in minecraft and we can jump over fence gates I just uh, jump in, well, wait, it's kind of hard to jump over a singular fence gate, but now we can just jump right on over these fence gates without a problem. But nevertheless, if you have any questions about adding mods to your Minecraft server, let me know in the comment section down below. Just make sure they are Forge mods for 1.14.2. That is going to be where most of your issues are. But anyway, my name is Nick. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our grief-protected survival server. We've got two awesome survival servers, one with quests and a player economy and all that stuff, and one with an awesome server economy. We've got custom Skyblock with over 100 players online every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.